This week, in round four, they watched as the Eagles thumped the Blues to the tune of 50 points at the Wacker in Perth. But this time, Carlton is doing the entertaining at home. Also on AFL today, we go to Cadinia Park, a ground that home side Geelong hasn't found to its liking this year. And the young North Melbourne side has no intention of making things any easier for them in round 17. In the first half, Geelong first and then North Melbourne getting the advantage. Over the top was McCarthy, McRae. And it comes to Shaw now. Melbourne, a chain of hand passes, Longmire, Darcy. To his credit, got a kick in. Morgan, Flanagan. Gary Hocking still inside the square. Two on one in favour of North Melbourne. But when you've got this man as the one, and he could get a free kick now, he had it. And Geelong supporters did indeed, Peter McKenna, have to ask why not. Yes, I think that should have been a free kick to Gary Ablett. Now, the umpire is saying it's a free kick anyway to Geelong going to Hamilton. But the Geelong supporters roared for Gary Ablett. They love him down here. Hamilton, oh, look at the fly. Nearly a great mark by Stoneham. Well, we've seen one sensational mark early in the game by Gary Ablett, and that was nearly a great one. Been well held today by Ian Fairley, but he battles hard, Stoneham, always trying to get front position. Was Hepburn getting that? Hamilton to full forward and Brownless who marks into the open goal. Four goals to Billy Brownless. Geelong hit back. And that's just what the Cats needed after North Melbourne looked to be taking command. 13-6 to 12-7, a top game of football. Well, Shane Hamilton, a very gifted player, number 25 for Geelong. And he knew the Brownless was one out. He sent the long ball down to the square. Brownless had a terrific battle with Paul Bryce. Bryce hasn't been disgraced, but when the full forwards kick four, well, it's a worrying time for a fullback. And both full forwards on the ground, Brownless and Longmire, have kicked four each. A game of football we're enjoying. We hope you are too. Under 19 minutes left in this quarter. Flanagan with Hepburn. One by Hepburn. Yates. Mud bespattered. Went past the two stars. Martin and Ablett. Picked up by German. Germans kick out towards half forward. And ball very close to the boundary line. It's gone over it. Ahead of Darren Troy. So we're throwing it right half forward for the Kangaroos. Troy, the job of tagging Matthew Larkin. He's done a pretty fair job, I'd have to say. Hepburn again wins out. Carey, Chandler. Ball socket into the open spaces. Runs. McRae from a standing start. Unloads with a pretty good sort of a kick. Did Longmire touch that? Or is it through? It's a goal. He made a meal with that John Longmire. I suppose he had to go for it. But it's six points to North. 14-6 to 12-7. Well, that bad luck to Neville Bruns there as he went in after that ball hard, picked it up, tried to give in a hand pass, but it was uh, intercepted by his opponent, in fact, Dean McRae. McRae grabbed it, a quick kick, a high floater to the forward line. And look, hanging his head, Neville Bruns. He's not happy with himself, but he's been a good player today for Geelong. Fourteen six plays 12-7, so 11 points to margin. Gary Hocking working very hard in the clinches. Always does. Mark Yates had a great battle with Carey. Here's Ablett. Ablett kicking it out. He's got tons of paces. He kicks it to the half-back line. Ooh, he nearly ran. He did. He hurt the North Melbourne player there. It might be Allison. to pick him up in a moment. Carey close to the line. And I thought Ablett got the knees right into his back there. And he's hurt. Let's see who it is. I think it's Brett Allison. But at the ball at half forward, they're going, the play's going on around him. Here's Larkin. Grab. And the umpire will come in and bounce. John Russo. Now, is it Brett Allison, Pete? Yes, it is. And I thought the knee's collecting right in the centre of the back. So they have. Been a good player, Allison. Three goals. A couple of great goals, too. At the ball at half forward for North Melbourne. Larkin doesn't seem to be 100% fit, but they... Need him in there with his class. And John Russo will come in and bounce again. The two umpires today, John Russo and Darren Goldspink. 
Flanagan there to do the ruck work. Now he's against Hepburn, coming in as Couch, he's having a good quarter. Applet tries to soccer it off the ground. Quick hand passes to Chandler. He's unloaded by Hocking. And again, umpire Russo will come in and bounce. So the third quarter, not as open as the first two. Well, certainly starting off that way. 12 goals kicked in the first quarter. 24 by half time. An amazing two terms of football. Hepburn, a big leap. Chandler on the bottom with Couch. We're not going anywhere, folks. And the umpire. Thank heaven for that, has decided to play a free kick. Gary Hocking, the recipient, onto the left foot, not a well-directed kick. Scholl taking the mark on right centre wing for North Melbourne, centering kick from that player. Oh, strong grab, that's Terry. Well, McCarthy. He's been well held by Andrew Rogers, actually. He's done a good job, Rogers. Too far out to score, Pete. 60 to 75 metres. He's done well, though, to chip it to Sean Smith. Uh, Andrew Rogers disgusted with his teammate who didn't pick up Smith because Rogers then had to go and take the mark. Now, when he get the distance with a heavy ball. Came pretty close. McCarthy was the flyer. Troy looking for a holding the ball decision. It's going to be a bounce almost right on the scoring line. 15 and a quarter minutes left in the term. North Melbourne with the advantage, 90 to 79, and could increase it here. And in fact, the ball has been rushed through for one behind, and so they now lead by an even two goals. Which has been the biggest break I think we've had in the match to date, really. 14-7 to 12-7. Actually, North kicked the first two goals of the game. They did, in the rain. Darcy looking for a lead. And goes long towards the outer side. Stoneham, centre of the pack. It's thumped the ground. There's Couch. Quick hand pass. This could be dangerous. North Melbourne plays in after an Anthony Rock at the base of the pack. And um, the umpire will come in and bounce again. A very heavy shower of rain during the halftime break has made the ground pretty slippery and difficult for the players. Sun's out at the moment, but... Uh, won't be easy to handle that ball. Here's Steve Hocking. Quick hand pass to Gary, his brother. Centre wing, North Melbourne through Ramiro. Great improved player, Jose Ramiro to the half forward line. Big fly was by Sean Smith. Yates is in there. Gary Hocking's in there. And again, there'll be a bounce. Well, often umpires try and pluck three kicks out of those packs, but... Uh, Sensible umpiring by Darren Goldspink and John Russo in this quarter. Because there certainly weren't many obvious free kicks. Tap the ground. Gary Hocking again. Dispossessed. There's a free kick to Geelong. Holding the man. Now the advantage will be paid to Geelong here as it's taken away by Steve Hocking. Ablett used his body well. Have a look at the pace of Ablett. He waits for the bounce. Will he kick a goal? 55 metres. He straightens up the Geelong champ. What a great kick. Well, that might lift Geelong after the top goal by Ablett. Magnificent goal by the camp. Used his body well, as Peter said. The opponent was out of position. Ablett got the bounce that he wanted. And that is a perfect example of how to kick a goal on the run. So Geelong back in business, 14-7 to 13-7. Well, Gary Ablett, he's kicked three. Martin has done a fair job. But on that occasion, he just leant into him, Ablett. Got the ball running his way, and he's got enormous pace. And we know how far he can kick a football. That was the 55-metre one right through the middle. One goal the difference. Now at Cadinia Park, Gary Ablett putting through his third goal. And a really great game of football here. Hepburn knocks down. Chandler can't get clear. Well tackled by Paul Couch. And it will be a bounce. Organ. Indeed, is he going to throw it up? No, it's a bounce. Bounce is pretty high too. Surface though is pretty slippery. Flanagan, well tackled by Sean Smith. Still trying to barge his way through. So are about 10 or so others. That's uh, against Couch. Free kick going North Melbourne's way to Chandler. Chandler kicks to half forward. Scholl. Longmire. Darcy. Larkin. Well tackled. Hurried hand pass. Troy. Gets around Longmire and kicks the Cats out of danger. Morgan the target. 
Almost outmarked by McCarthy. But Morgan, better at ground level. Gets well tackled by Allison. McCarthy to Scholl. Longmire. And a great mark. Certainly well within kicking distance. Longmire with four goals so far. His first came from a free kick. But he has been a pretty good target for North Melbourne to aim at down there. And he used his body absolutely perfectly on that occasion as the long kick came down. Just nudged into Darcy, kept him on the uh, defensive side and lunged at the ball for a good mark. For goal number five. And John Longmire gets goal number five. North once again, two goals in front. Well, North Melbourne certainly a tremendous future. Just looking at some of those young players in that side. Well, Longmire's 19. He's got years ahead of him. Carey, the centre forward, still a young player. They're wrestling with Darcy is John Longmire. And Michael Martin, of course, a young player. And even Peter German, he's still, uh, well, he's young in football years. So they've got a future, North Melbourne, no doubt about that. North lead by two goals. It seems to have been the general margin most of the day. Here's McRae, quick kick to the half forward line. Troy has been a good player for Geelong. Very, very strong player, Darren Troy. The short one is on to Spiro Malakalis. Oh, he wants to handball. Now he elects to go on. Oh, he tried. That's holding the ball, or was he licked? A fine line, that one. He can go over the mark. How can he be called to play on? Well, there's Rock going short, but Malakalis should have kicked that ball right from the start. Larkin to McCarthy, and this is danger. For Geelong McCarthy can kick a prodigious one every, every now and again. He's only had five kicks, but he thinks he can make the distance. A kick from just over 50. And the drop punt can really kick a ball. John McCarthy, look at that long driving drop punt. And it splits the centre. A magnificent kick by McCarthy. McCarthy's first goal and North Melbourne after the biggest lead we've had in the game so far of three goals. 16-7 to 13-7. Well, that all started from a bad mistake by Spiro Malakalis, who all the time when he took that ball, he wanted the handball. Instead of getting back and roosting it 60 metres down to his forward line, the ball's rebounded and an easy goal to North. Well, North Melbourne getting the last two goals. That was McCarthy's first 16-7 to 13-7 at Cadidia Park. North Melbourne, can they go on with it? Spiro Malakalis again. This time he does get his kick. A rather short one. Out towards the centre wing position. And that might be a push in the back to Brayshaw. And he will take the kick just right of centre wing. Kicks to half forward. Rock. Larkin. Lovely fork. Long by the target. Darcy went at him. McRae off the ground for a goal. Well, cup stuff. McRae second. And what a six pointer. 17 7 to 13 7. Four goals the difference. Big for the Western Oval. Footscray fighting for a place in the five. Meet league leaders Collingwood in a no hold barred encounter. The action starts 2 o'clock Sunday. Exclusive to. Knocked down by Gallagher. Runs. Turns slowly. Hits over his head. Smith. Malakalis. Spiro. Hocking. Stephen. Couch. Oh, your court ball couch. Chandler's tackle was very effective. Ball still in play. Stephen Hocking. It's a free kick. Going North Melbourne's way. And 50. And Billy Brown has got to get the football back pretty quickly. Might be another 50. Full. For Bryce. Kicks to centre field. Kneeled. Over to long newcomers up at the back. Down to Morgan in front. Morgan leading in the race from Scholl. Yates. Long sweeping turn. Back to Kneeled. Playing his first game. Two Geelong players are down there. One of them should mark. Flanagan. Lovely smother by Fairley. Back to Gary Hocking. Kicks inside 50. Ablett. Got a hand pass, nearly made something out of nothing. Ramiro 
drove it well from the defensive 50 and kicks to center wing. Statham got a fingernail to it, couldn't complete the mark. Out spins Gallagher onto Larkin. Larkin still with plenty of speed. Longmire the target. Plenty of space for him to lead into. And John Longmire within kicking distance right on 50. Well, that is perfect forward play. Magnificent lead by Longmire. Straight up the middle of the ground. Great pass by Larkin. Longmire for goal number six. He's missed and one behind. So two misses by the champ this quarter. Four goals, one the difference, 17-8 to 13-7. Six and a half minutes left in the third term. Well, Longmire in future years is going to be almost impossible to stop on occasions when North Melbourne have possession of the ball because he leads magnificently. There's Gallagher punching at the ground. They really need a spark to Long. That was Steve Hocking getting it to Morgan and on to Malakalis. This is Tony Malakalis, ran a long way with it. He's gone to the half forward line. Martin underneath it had to show a lot of courage. Couch off the ground. Here's a chance for a goal. Spiro Malakalis, will he soccer it? He does. That's soccer tactics bang. Right through the middle. Goal to Geelong. They needed it. Spiro seconds, and they certainly did need it. They're 14. 14 7 to 17 8. Well, that was better play by the Cats. Right from the half back line. Very, very deliberate. As they took it up the ground, the long kick, landed over the to socket off the ground, landed over the back. Malakalis with pace, didn't mess around trying to pick it up. Sensible play by the little rover, put it through for a goal. They still trail though by 19 points, the Cats. 17-8 to 14-7, and we've got under six minutes left in the quarter. We need the next couple, Geelong, to have any show in the last quarter, one would think. Hamilton's kick is high and he travels about 15 metres, fairly taps down. Couch grabbed and then tackled pretty quickly. A bounce will be affected right on the edge of the centre square. Fairly having a few words to the umpire. That's a no win situation for sure. Stoneham to take the bounce. Now it's going to be Flanagan now and he taps it to Stoneham. Well done. Out to Hamilton. Bryce. Leading out in front of Brownless as he played on. Long kick by Bryce. Off the hands of Gallagher. It's out of bounds. Close to centre wing, just on Geelong's attacking side of centre. The Cats can get another couple before three quarter time. They're certainly well in with a chance because neither end is favoured by a breeze. Pretty still conditions here. Gallagher taps down. Larkin again. Got a late withdrawal last week. Probably still not 100% fit, but he's doing the job. Stephen Hocking from Yates. On to Morgan. Ooh, Ooh. On to Troy. Rode the bump well. Stephen Hocking again. Standing start kick. Flanagan. Hamilton. Brownless. Bryce. And Bryce has punched just got a little bit too much carry on it. And the ball out of bounds, forward pocket. The difference, Pete, in the full forwards is Longmire comes straight up the centre and Brownless goes off to the side. It, makes, it does make a big difference when it uh, comes to those pinpoint passes. There's a hand pass coming to Brayshaw. The centre wing, Bruns, good play. They put Stoneham on the ball, obviously. Stoneham has not had a good day, but he's still battling hard as he gets it to Hamilton. Still looking dangerous, Geelong. There's Brownless again to the pocket. And he just can't quite take a difficult mark. Because that ball is slippery. But again, even if he had a mark that he would have been on the boundary line, three minutes and 49 seconds left in the third quarter. They trail by 19. They need another one or two before three-quarter time. There's Ramiro going to ground. Here's a chance. Gary Hocking, he's been a good player. He straightens up on the right foot. Grabbed by Martin, and then he hooks it through from behind. Well, Hocking should have done more with that kick. He was... 25, 30 metres out. Should have put it through. He has already kicked three, Gary Hocking. Martin, the big job on Ablett. Hasn't done too badly either. To the half-back line. Stoneham. He's the man they want to lift. Couch loses it. So does Gallagher. His quick kick just bounces before the line. At half-foot and a bit of a wrestle going on. Peter German and Paul Couch. Throw in to take place at half forward for Geelong. Stoneham, good move to put him on the ball. 
And up by Darren Goldsby. Will come in and bounce. Yes, they'll lose nothing by that. Stoneham's had only eight possessions for the day, which is most unbury Stoneham like. Three kicks and five hand passes. Taps out there, not very far. Gary Hocking goes down. Another whistle. Terrific work at Gary Hocking. He is. A real goer. You can see the stats for Stoneham. They might improve with him being on the ball. Be surprised if they didn't. Scholl. Wobbly kick up to the square. Yates. Tear away tactics. Long kick. Groundless in front. Is that a mark or a push? Rice. The long supporter is obviously not happy. Well, the umpire was dead right. Pope. Sean Smith with Hamilton. He'll go for the boundary line. Bruns and McRae. Now there's a whistle. Free kick going North Melbourne's way. It'll be taken by Sean Smith. Well, that one a moment ago. Billy Brown the stage for that. Well, if he can get away with it, why not? He's out of <laughs> position. But he didn't. Troy and Larkin. And he cuts it over the line. And North Melbourne working it forward in a rather unspectacular fashion. Had a chance to increase their score with a minute and a half left before the final change. Gallagher and Stodham. Gallagher's hand pass intended for McRae. Couldn't take it. Tackled by Rock. Not rewarded. Rock not happy. And has a few words to say to the umpire. <laughs> and I think Bruns had plenty of words to say to Rock too. Half forward for North. Gary Hocking has been a good player. Onto the left foot, a beautiful kick too. Flanagan is playing at centre forward on Feely and uh, there's a free kick for pushing the back on Flanagan as the shepherd it was meant to be a shepherd but popped him right in the middle of the back. Flanagan is a beautiful kick. Boundless up in front. Over the back, Malakalis. Now it's Ablett. And the ball beats him over the line and Paul Bryce congratulating his teammate there. Some good play. Gary Ablett had 11 kicks. He has kicked three goals. It's been a great clash with Michael Martin. Fairly. And the half-back line, Couch has lifted his game. From 45 metres, Paul Couch had sailed the goal and slams it through the middle. Geelong fight back again. Couch is... Might get another shower of rain too. We've had two very heavy showers here today. At half-time, and just as the game got underway in the opening term, Spiro Malakavis... Looping hand pass. The loping Flanagan. A hand pass finally. Malakalis fumbles. This is Tony this time. Gee, they look alike, those two. Brownless in the square. Goals. Just what the Cats needed to start the last quarter. Six points the difference. Billy Brownless has kicked five goals. So has John Longmire down the other end. Both full forwards have played well. It's been a tremendous game of football right from the start of the the day it's been even it's been tough it's been very very desperately fought that's been a great clash Paul Bryce playing on Billy Brownless but Malakalis with that quick kick caught Bryce unawares back he went to the goal square Brownless to take a safe mark in his chest and now the Cats in with a real chance and the rain coming down again Pete a goal the margin North Melbourne lead. They've had the lead for most of the game. Here's John McCarthy going to the half forward line. Carey obviously playing in the pocket. Trying to get around onto that right foot. Hooks it back to half forward. McCarthy has got the fly. Well done by Mark Yates to hold his ground. Anthony Rock a quick hand pass. Swass was he tripped. Umpire said no. He lies on top of the ball. And the umpire will bounce. The two umpires, Darren Goldspink and John Russo. And overall they've done a pretty good job on the day. Bounce at half forward for North Melbourne. Every time Geelong has made a run at North, they've been able to reply with a goal. Gary Hocking has been fantastic for Geelong. That quick kick though lands in the hands of Chandler. He's had the job on couch. This is Schwass, a high floater. Longmire in front, punched the ground. Darren Troy's been solid in defence. And there's a very good defensive kick out to the boundary line and over at half back. Becoming an art form, the educated kick to the boundary line. Geelong with Poole and Christensen off the ground, unable to return. 
Christensen left the field in the first quarter. Spiro Malakatis. Back in the first 90 seconds of the game. And we haven't seen him since. Battle on centre wing. Bruns. Picked up by Bryce. A high spiral punt kick to the 50 metre line. A marking contest. None paid. Kneeled. Hepburn from a standing start. Kicks to the pocket and out of bounds. A boundary throw in right next to the behind post. North Melbourne's attacking area. Six points the difference in what has been a top game of football. And maybe the best is yet to come. Darcy. Oh, he punched it straight to Larkin. His step shot is pretty close. It's a goal. And once again, the difference is 12 points in favour of the Roos at Cadinia Park. McEwen's Big League bargains are on. We're working flat out to bring you the best. Like never-to-be-repeated prices on Australian-made, unconditionally guaranteed Sid Chrome tool sets. You'll save a big $100 on Sid Chrome's 29-piece metric tool set, including open-end spanners, ring spanners, half-inch square drive sockets, plus the four most popular accessories at a never-to-be-repeated price of only $169. It's the ideal Dad's Day gift. So head into McEwen's today for high-flying savings on Big League bargains store-wide. Tropic alongs really fit your rear. That man has an interesting past. I've been admiring it. Fit where you sit and not too dear. It's either his girlfriend or he has a beautiful mum. Hmm, oh, nice and neat. Summer ones, winter ones, new each year. That's a nifty pair of glasses. Cute. A look you can live in that fits your rear. Do you ever look at their faces? Cases? Who cares about their luggage? Tropic alongs by King G. range of four-wheel drives combines engineering that wins the world's toughest rallies with smoothness that turns outback tracks into outback highways. Mitsubishi Pajero. One four-wheel drive has been to the ends of the earth just in case you decide to go there too. Pajero. From who else but Mitsubishi. Here's a Hewlett-Packard bonus offer right out of the box. With every HP LaserJet 2P personal printer, a dual bin upgrade free. But hurry, phone now. This bonus offer closes the end of August. Okay, a few of the guys and girls at the office got together to form a Tats Lotto Syndicate. Shh, it's great fun, and by getting together, we each get more chances to win. Why don't you form one too? <laughs> Wet over here too. Let me get some drinks. No, let me. Wait up. Drinks all around. Well, if we're going to make a party of it, let's nibble Nobby's nuts. Sorry. How can one small army break the world's greatest power? They think it's so easy. Chuck Norris is the lethal weapon they cannot beat. Invasion USA Sunday. Next on Hinch. The prison warder stabbed with an infected needle and now facing a possible death sentence from AIDS. It's a horrible way, it would be a horrible way to die. And my parents too, I'm concerned for my family. And the football mates who don't want him to play safe. A prison warder's nightmare, next on Hinch. Stodham, Spiro Malakavis once more. He'll give it to Gary Hocking, Rock in pursuit. But Paul Bryce on his own. Flanagan caught out of position. And in the end, it was an easy mark. So North swing back into attack again. McCarthy tries for Ramiro. Stephen Hocking off the ground. German, Brown. The experience of German should win the day. He's chipped it in short and he's found Schwoss. Schwoss at midfield. Long bomb down towards half forward. Yates on his own. And Mark Yates doesn't drop marks like that. Transfers it back over towards the member stand side. Not a good kick, though. Now Geelong will have to do some defending again. Stodham stands the mark. Let's see what Hepburn can do with this. 
Down towards full forward as the rain comes down again. Larkin looks for the free kick. Yates might have given one away. He has. I thought Larkin staged a little bit for it. The free kick was there. But well, he didn't actually take possession of the ball and he sucked uh, Mark Yates into there, giving yes. away that free kick. But I think Yates, you know, you would imagine he would have thought Larkin really was in possession, but he didn't really take it. So the free kick was there. So Matty Larkin already kicked one this quarter. He may have missed with that one. One behind. So Geelong fans breathe a sigh of relief. There's only one flag goes up. It's 13 points the difference, 16-8 to 18-9. And North have had that slight edge all day. And, uh, well, they'd really be pinching at Geelong if they won the game. But they're in there with a chance. They only trail by 13 points. Stoneham, he's the man they really want. But while he's on the ball, they've got problems at centre forward. This is Darren Troy, the long one. Couch in the front, tried to punch it on, swooping over the back is Peter German to the half forward line. Good play by Neil, Troy, Steve Hocking, looking for Morgan. Morgan against Scholl, who went out? Morgan will probably take this to the line, he does, and that was safety first, good thinking. Halfway between centre wing and half forward for North Melbourne. He's only had four kicks, but he's had ten handballs, Darren Morgan. Stoneham hits it down but straight to Scholl for North. Troy going back with the fly to the ball. He's got backup support from Rogers. That was good play. Tony Malakalis to Steve Hocking. Hocking back to Tony Malakalis. Hand pass was intended for Yates, but this will come unstuck because it's swapped. For the punch. Down it comes to Troy. Short pass. Stoneham takes a gutsy mark. And that's Peter German. No, he didn't like the attention. Brown, the youngster, playing his first game. And has done well. It's a good prospect. Not much of him, but does display a few talents. Couch, he's got plenty of those. Long hand pass. Some of the Geelong forwards, those statuesque down there. Malakavis, groundless, has the ball punched away by Fairley. He's done a good job in defence. Hasn't got that many kicks himself, only five. But he has been a very solid defender. It's a right forward pocket for the Cats. Geelong needing a goal. Ablett, Brayshaw, over the head of Rocker. That is bleeding from the mouth. Picked up by McCarthy. Back to half forward. Larkin, will he get a free kick again? He will. We're being held but not in possession, this time by Troy. And Larkin will take the free kick on left centre wing. Just to North Melbourne's attacking side of centre. Oh, strong mark again by Carey. And once you get that front position, Peter, hard to get around. He's a very good chess mark. Carey, long bomb. Longmire, too long for him and out of bounds on the full. And so Rogers will take the free kick for the Cats. They were still trailing, but they're plenty of time. 14 and three quarter minutes left in the game. Rogers now playing on Longmire. Uh, the coaches have made a few switches. Uh, Carey is being picked up by Darcy. And down the other end, Fairley has moved on to Brownless and Bryce on to Flanagan. So their key defenders all being switched. That's Scholl off the ground to the half forward line. It's tapped back into play and then eventually forced over by Tim Darcy. 18 10, plays 16 8. So two goals, two. 14 points the margin. There's plenty of time. In fact, just under 14 minutes. For the Cats, or here's danger though, because Jose Ramiro's got it. Hand pass over the top to Larkin. Larkin a further hand pass. Longmire over to Ramiro. Can't get his boot to it, and Geelong saved the day. This is Neil. Oh, valuable opportunity missed by North. Bruns was grabbed when he didn't have it. And he will have a go at the umpire here. You can bet on it. Neville Bruns, look at him. Well, that was excellent work by the Cats. They, their persistence paid off, didn't it, Pete? Some did. strong tackling. Otherwise, North would have just about taken a vice-like grip on the match. Well, Bruns was a bit stiff not to get a kick then. And here's Malakalis, Tony Malakalis. Oh, he wants to handball every time he gets it. You can't do that with a slippery ball. You've just got to get it and kick it. Chandler to half forward. Morgan underneath it. Can't take the mark. So it comes back to Morgan. He taps it on. Rogers ridden into the ground. It'll be a free kick to Andrew Rogers at half back. 
He's gone for a quick hand pass onto Stephen Hocking. Hocking goes for the long kick. His brother's the target and he doesn't let him down. Gary Hocking, Geelong's best player. Who's he got down there? No one. And Peter German chips into space to take the safest of marks. Rock. He's played on, has he? No, no, free, free kick to uh, Stoneham in the back. Barry Stoneham on the left centre wing for Geelong. 12 and a half minutes left. I'm ticking down. The Cats need a couple of goals to get them back in this match. They can do it. Marking contest. None paid. Chandler. Stoneham in the middle of a big pack of players. Yates will do the tidying up work from the back. Chips it in short. Hamilton's played a good game too for Geelong. Hamilton at centre half back now. They don't want to waste it. Got to get it moving quickly. They do. This time through Troy. Troy to half forward. Knocked away by Brown. Malakella, Spiro. Down to half forward. Ablett was the target. Martin. Flanagan looks for a free kick. German. And a good kick to position as it turned out. And Larkin finishing the game well. Started slowly. Almost a sensational grab to Longmire. He might still get a goal, John Longmire. Straightens up, shoots, and he has put it through for a goal.